Hi, and welcome to Richmond TV, the original news program for Richmond, the American International University in London. I'm Liz Rios. Club societies have been busy these past two weeks. Here's RTV's Club Roundup. I'm Nina Saucier. I am the Kensington representative for the RIS, Richmond International Society. We are selling sweatpants currently for £20 a pair, which is about the same price as one of this school sweatshirt. Currently, that will go towards our potential Ukraine trip next semester, as well as the Jack the Ripper tour coming up. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you guys would buy a pair. They're very, very comfy. We all know this from, you know, personal sweatpants. They, we can get them in any of the sizes you would like, small, medium, large, and extra large. They are currently patterned after a navy blue fashion with the RIS logo and Richmond down the side of the pants. You can buy them from the student cafeteria on both campuses as well as um, you can inquire about them from Student Affairs. So we the president of the Richmond Beer Brewing Appreciation Society and this is our secretary, Bethany Warner. We brew beer, we go to beer fests, and we enjoy everything that is about production and consumption of fermented beverages. Past year we've brewed over 100 gallons of beer, about 25 different kinds, and we've gone to different beer fests. Once we've uh, went to most recently the October Bavarian Beer Hall for our Oktoberfest. Well, in the future we've still got a bottle of about how many gallons? About 25 gallons we have to bottle of beer still and then uh, brew another 25 gallons after that. Beer brewing is also about appreciation of the beer too and a lot of what we do at Advents, i.e. the tastings, would be to show others how beer is a lot more than just a lager that you go and get that. Um, on November the 8th, the Green Project held its second river cleanup of the semester. It was great, very successful. The largest river cleanup, I think, ever. It was about 70 people, including about 12 or 13 Richmond students. The record was pulling out seven motorcycles, eight shopping trolleys, and over 50 car tires. Our next river cleanup, therefore, as a school, will be in February. The first edition is the student-run newspaper at Richmond University. Since it's the first semester of the first edition, we're still working out a lot of kinks. Well, we have a website, and we also have a Facebook. We need reporters, we need photographers, we need editors. We need, we need everything, basically. We really are devoted to making a newspaper that truly informs the students about the world around them and the university around them. This year, Richmond has begun its international journalism major. We investigated the degree. Journalism as a profession is going through a major change at the moment. Old-fashioned print journalism, writing for newspapers, is going through something of a crisis. And if you've been reading the press on this, several major newspapers in the U.S. and in Britain um, are kind of go, you know, either going out of business or going entirely online. So any student who's really interested in working in journalism and in media has to be aware of the different digital platforms that exist now. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, there's been quite a lot of student interest already. Well, we're developing a minor. In fact, uh, there's a proposal for a minor going through Provost Council at the moment. My name is Chris Hodson. I'm one of the internship advisors from the university and it's something which I've been doing for a few years now. Every semester the interns who have been placed come and give a presentation about where they are working and what kind of experience they've had and um, what kind of duties they've had to do. I'm yeah, Natalie Houston and I intern for Women for Women International. I'm the event coordinator's intern, also the policymaker's intern. And I'm going to a fashion show next week. And I went to the House of Lords last week, a uh, few weeks ago. It helped me realise that I'm doing the right thing, that I'm studying the right thing. Well, I think um, an internship is a fantastic experience for every student. It's a real um, move from being a student to going into working life and it gives them a real flavour for what it's about. My name is Megan Buffington and I interned at beautyandthedirt.com. It's a fantastic experience. I got to go behind the scenes of London Fashion Week, attend shows, go backstage, and most of all, I got to go to Serbia for four days, uh, free of charge, courtesy of the Serbian government. So it definitely was a great experience. And I gained a lot of experience through it and good contacts and friends, so definitely recommend it. To go to the uh, internship office, first of all, and get registered. And one of the things is you need to have a good enough GPA. 
So if you are not too sure, you better work hard and make sure you get your GPA marks up. And um, tonight just illustrates uh, their experience, and I think it's fantastic. Students have been traveling across the globe with Res Live and Student Affairs. Here's a look of where they've been. I'm Sarah Westwell, and I was the RD that was helping out on the Greece trip. Um, on the Greece trip, we spent a little bit of time in Athens, and then we went to Santorini for a few days. It was pretty beautiful. The weather cooperated about half the time. The food was amazing. There is nothing better in this world than some good tzatziki, a good gyro, and uh, some nice baklava to finish up a meal. All of the um, archaeological sites like the Parthenon and all of the museums were completely free to go into with your student ID. So I definitely recommend going into Athens. Hi, and we're from Stonehenge. Well, the area around it reminds me of South Dakota. Oh, it's great! So on November the 7th, my Shakespeare and his world class uh, with the student affairs went to Stratford upon Avon. It was amazing! And it was a really good trip. I had a lot of fun. My favorite part was probably my random sword fight with Chelsea Wallach. I won, so it was good. Um, the other thing we did, we went to go see Shakespeare's birthplace, we went to go look at uh, Mary Evans Farm, and we also got to see a production of Twelfth Night, which was absolutely fabulous, and I can't wait for it to come to London so I can go see it again. All breaks over, but here's a look at the exotic places where you went. I went to Glasgow, Scotland. Leeds. Amsterdam. Ireland. Amsterdam. Spain. Wales. Morocco. <laughs> Bristol and Oxford. Madrid and Palma de Mallorca in Spain. Amsterdam, Belgium, and Rome. Greece. To Italy. I went to Paris for fall break. In Ipswich. Egypt. Greece. Berlin. Paris. Uh, London. It's winter in London, but there's no reason to stay indoors. Here's RTV's picks of what to do in the upcoming weeks. Celebrate the cold as you ice skate at Somerset House. The gorgeous 18th century courtyard of the building is a stunning backdrop to the fun winter sport. Tickets are £10.50 and include the skate rental. More information at www.somersethouse.org.uk No one can be a Grinch at the Oxford Street Christmas Market. Even if you don't celebrate the holiday, don't miss your chance to buy adorable wooden toys and eat some delicious German food. The market opens on November 20th and is open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. More information at www.xmasmarkets.com As always, check out Time Out to see what's going on in London. That concludes this episode of Richmond TV. I'm Liz Rios. Live your day, live London.